<laughs> Where's the queens and spirit now? <laughs> <laughs> Shareholders, welcome to another episode of Off Field Drama. I'm Sauce. I'm Berkey. And we are here with the Pearl, Steve Ranoff. Welcome, mates. Hey, boys. Thanks for having me on. It's a pleasure. Yeah, this is fantastic. Thank you. uh, Thanks for giving up your time, your Monday. It's absolutely great to have you here. You got me out of bed, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Good to hear. No, we've, uh, we've just been sitting here. Past bloody fifteen minutes, giving away stories and yarning, so we thought we better start it. It's getting, it's getting too good to miss out on all this. Um, firstly, how are you? Yeah, good, mate. Still, I um, I get to see you a little bit around the place every now and then. And uh, <laughs> it's the first time I met you. <laughs> <great. That's good. laughs> nah, it's fucking, it's great to have you here. You're always always up for a good chat and a. A beer and a yarn, and just a good bloke, aren't you, mate? Oh, mate, this is my second run. Yeah, so I've had you back. Yeah, I don't know. If people, many people saw that the first one. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Shit, it was that good. They want to go again. Yeah, yeah exactly. We, we've got word. Um, what do you reckon about the Bronx, mate? Firstly, let's just rip in. What do you reckon, mate? It's just so happy uh, yeah. to be honest. And and still, uh, you'd get this, and you'd get it. You get it as well. Mm. Like that when when Brisbane are doing well. The city's alive and a buzz, and you get to feel that. And obviously, through this place, you get to feel that. Yeah. And so, for us as ex-players, it, it's amazing. You know, we get around the so we, we ride the ups and downs, you know, the ebbs and tides with with the club as ex-players. Uh, so we cop it as well mm. when they weren't going well. But um, that shift um, with this team and what Kevy has done is amazing. Well, that's why obviously here in the media, you guys obviously are so. You're, you're allowed to have your two cents more than anyone, but that's why you hear it because you're so passionate about it. It was yeah. your club, and now you see it going so well. It'd be a good feeling. Oh, it is, mates. And, you know, we, we go down to a couple of captain runs during the year uh, during the year to you know, do a bit of work. And, and I have said to a few of the players, you know, compare this to uh, three or four years ago mm. uh, and the crowd that comes to watch you train now, these captains. Yeah. Right? It, it's amazing. It, it was very much the feel of what it was like back in the day. I've the, never been to a captain's run. Yeah. When what is it, that this week? So that's obviously the day. So that'll be Friday. Friday, Friday. morning. Nine o'clock, I think they kick off. Go down there and it'll, it'll be packed. Oh. Um, you know, and it's just the, the crowd's there to watch them. You can have a coffee and you know, the cafe's open. And it, it, it's just a good, fun atmosphere for, for the fans. Mm. Mind you, the, the, the fans have been coming since 1988. Mm. They still rock up, which is great. Yeah. You know, you're, hard, you're, you're hard on a bit, you know. The same people, yeah. The same people, which yeah. is great. But, um, you know, but you see more and more of the new crowd come along. Yeah. So, 9 o'clock this Friday. Yes. Shareholders. Should we share. go? Get down there. You should. You should. I I'll be go. down yeah. there. Yeah, I might actually go to that. Uh, yeah. I've been G and my mate up. We want to get down there. Because the grandstand there, it's not that big. So you'd want to get there early. Or where do they stand? Yeah, so around the coffee shop. And oh, right that's oh. not very big. Mm. So that fills up very quickly. And then you just you have to stand along the edge of the field, the training field, uh, behind the fence. What about the on the far side? They've got that green... Like, yeah, so that's yeah. The, that's the little green stand. So you're allowed to go there. You're allowed to mm. go there. Yeah, yeah. Right. does that that whole field? People don't realise it, it wasn't there. Yeah, no. It, that, well, no, the whole field was yeah redone. Mm. Yeah. But all of that and the one across the road, they actually it's actually public field. You know, oh, yeah, <laughs> really? you can access it whenever you want as long as they're not training. Are you serious? A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, I heard they built it um, exact like it's a replica of the size of Suncorp. It's exactly the same size. Probably is, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah, they had to get council approval yes, to build yeah. over the creek yeah, to yeah, make right. sure. And the tunnel when you walk in from the car park is the same style as when you get to Suncorp Stadium. Yeah, okay, there you go. We just do it different up here in yeah, Brizzy. We get it. We Surely get it. the Lions doing well helps too because they oh. kind of made a bit of a brotherly love, the Bronx and yeah. the Lions. Yeah, they have. And, you know, we, look, we had that back in the day, the early days. They were the – what were they called back then? They were the – When they won the three-peat? No, it was even before Oh, the, the Bears? The Bears, Bears yeah. yeah. I was going to say the Koalas, but, yeah, the Bears. <laughs> Um, that's the red. That's the red. Yeah. The red's <laughs> yeah. But they, yeah, look, they um, they were great. We had the same, but yeah, they've got a bit of association these days, and and that makes it even better for mm. the town. You know, the Lions are kicking butt as well. Yeah. Double prelim. Double prelim. Shout out to Charlie Cameron. Yes, yes. good Morris boy. 
Are you talking? There you yeah, go. So yeah. he, the son he was talking, he went through with Billy. So. Right, okay. Yeah. He, he would have given him a few leads or something back in the day, or Specky Charlie, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they were both centers, and um, they both got picked in the uh, what, what's the end of, end of year team? They pick the, the or like uh, AIC boys or, or something. No, just for Maris, they picked. Their squad, the fair, oh. you know, like, whatever they call them, they yeah. they play. Yeah. And, but anyway, him and I think him and Charlie made the centers for the for the team of you know the year. I heard team he didn't year. play AFL until he was a bit older. Like he didn't play it. I tell you, I'll, I'll t- tell you a story about Charlie Cameron because you know try, we helped him try to help him with a few apprenticeships and that during school. And the boys, I was sitting at home. This is a couple of years after the boys graduated or Billy finished and. Um, they were upstairs, you know, they were, all, they, they were doing their trades and I was downstairs watching the Adelaide Crows play someone and I'm sitting there by myself and they're talking about this young Indigenous boy called Charlie Cameron. I'm going, what? <laughs> Can't be another Charlie Cameron for Christ's sake. <laughs> anyway, they're talking about this number 23, I think it was, it's, uh, you know, Adelaide, Adelaide Crows. Yeah. And it was him. And it was him, yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, what? he just popped up out yeah. of nowhere. <laughs> he's like... Yeah. I remember, yeah, I remember hearing that, how everyone was like, yeah, he's a Brizzy boy. Yeah, he and is, and he was down in Adelaide. Yeah, yeah, so he's 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 from Mornington Island. His family, yeah, um, up up in the Gulf. But he his parents lived over in WA and worked in the mines. Yeah, and right. He ended up going over there, and he's I think he had a brother that actually pl- might have played for West Coast for a little bit as yeah. well. Yeah, he's athletic. Oh, mate, yeah. he's he's a, he's he's a, a baseballer, a softballer as well, mate. Yeah. Oh, really? I think Baker told me that. Well, he played actually, baseball. He, he's just like yeah, yeah he, he's a freak, handy golfer. Shit, yeah, they can do yeah. it. What's the build up like for a prelim? Like yeah. knowing that you're so close to a GF. Yeah, it's probably you're probably a bit more nervous in the GF because it's it's make or break. You you know, if you're out the window, you're out the door. If you mm. if you lose, and you know you got that crack if if you get through, and mm. um, I probably in a way there's probably a little bit more pressure with the prelim. I don't, I don't know. That mightn't sound right to people, but um, you know if you get through that that week after that. Running in the grand finals totally different to any other week of rugby league in that whole season. Yeah, is it draining? No, it isn't. It depends on it depends on how your coach was. We, we're lucky to have Wayne Bennett, and yeah. these boys are lucky to have Kevin Walters. Mm. Um, it, it's about relaxing, and he used to always talk to us about it's about relaxing and enjoying the week. Mm. And when you got weather like this at this time of the year, you can't not. No. Oh. You yeah. know, it's amazing. Get the towel out and fucking get your tan on. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, well, I didn't have to work too hard on that. <laughs> How's the advantage of having a home home field uh, prelim? Did you have any? Did you have any at Lane uh, Park? Or? No, they didn't do that back in the day. All of ours, we were top five and we played them all in Sydney. Yeah, well, uh, that's what. Yeah. Old mate, yeah, Brian, were, Brian Fletcher of the Penrith Panthers wants to do, we were saying. Yeah, well, he, he's a bit shirty because he... he you know, They're playing at a core. Yeah, why would you play a, a prelim out of Penny oh, Panthers? Why would, you live in, why would you live in Penrith? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I'm not going to go there, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just reckon that's ludicrous. Like, you, you'd you earn the right to play a game at yeah. your home ground. You know, that's what I think. What's yeah, the yeah. what's the inside scoop? What's Kevy telling you? What what's he saying? Are the boys ready to rock and roll? Oh look, uh, you know we haven't haven't had a chat to Kevy. I caught up with Elf um, just last week and had a beer with um, him and Lee Breers. And you know, Elfie, you know it's good to t- talk to Elf because you know, nine times out of ten you get to see the the larrikin side of him. But when he talks about this team, what's mm. happening there, you know, he gets very serious. He does, eh? He does, yeah. and, he, and he, he's got a lot of passion there, just like Kevy. So it'd be no different from him talking to me than Kevy and. Look, they're, they're relaxed and, and I think they're excited. I think yeah. Elf's excited that this team, uh, what, especially what they showed against oh. Melbourne. Wow. It was silly. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. They actually come out and belted them. Oh. I, yeah. I, I thought, oh, this will last 20 minutes, but he did the whole yeah. match. We were saying we've never seen a Storm team so frustrated. Yeah. Oh, you know, wow. like dirty tactics and stuff and just playing shit footy. Because they were trying to do so much and it just, yeah, wasn't working. Yeah, for it them. just didn't work. And Bell's a, Craig Bellamy blew up after the game about it. How you know mm. uh, they're all trying to do it on their own and, and yeah. nothing was happening. And they just went away from what they they knew. They got lucky against the Roosters, didn't they? They didn't <laughs> play a great footy there. <laughs> uh, look, that was they, they were, they've had a season like that, Melbourne. Yeah, I, th- I think it all comes back to them mental strength and how they're coached that they've gone so far. Because you look at the players they've lost during the season. Um, and, and they lost, you know, in, in the off season. So yeah. they they've done well. They are still such a good side. Yeah, you know. Like well, they're they well are. drilled, mate. They're, yeah. they're disciplined, you know. Yeah. And and they go out there and look. Bell's a, 
you know, good bloke. Yeah, he Craig is. Craig Bellamy. Mm. He, he, he was our fitness coach when I was my last couple of years at Broncos. And, you know, we had a good time together. And, geez, I'd hate to be coached by him, though. Eh? Oh, my yeah. God. Is his, you would have had anything to do with his pre seasons at the Storm or at the Broncos? Did he do a no, bit there? No, at the Broncos, yeah, yeah, definitely. So he was one of our trainers, um, you know, in the, in the late couple of years. And, you know, he, he was fair with us and he, get, he flogged us, though. But, yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, when, but, because, you know, we he was probably one of the most respected trainers we had, even though we had Kelvin Giles and the guys. Yeah. Did you ever get any sprays from him or Wayne? Oh, mate, I'll tell you, no? I got a lot of sprays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially from Wayne, but they were private. It's yeah. like, yeah, so yeah. We, used to, we used to thing and Wayne would go, oh, come and see me. So but you didn't you didn't know that because it went either way if you asked for a one-on-one. Yeah. So he just walked through the shed and he goes, oh, come and see me, will you? <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> what I'll get a cop I'm gonna cop it. Yeah. Well, like just real subtly? Yeah, subtly, mate. He he never really sprayed us, to be honest. And you know the worst thing when and we probably reacted better to this than anything. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> just disappointed. No, he didn't spray us and uh, but the thing was is when he didn't say anything, uh, you know, we, we came in <laughs> half time. We're yeah. we're getting we're getting a touch up here at ANZ Stadium. We walk, we all gutted, you know, like no one said anything. And he's just waiting for the boys to come back from the toilet. And we're just waiting, and he's, <laughs> he just did nothing. And we're just sitting there going, what? The? He didn't say anything the whole half time. That, that's, that'd do my head in. Oh, it did. That, that, it did. I think we'd come out, we, we won. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it works. Uh. Do you have any more, like, stories about Wayne? Like, anything that comes oh. to mind? Or he's just such a, he doesn't say anything for a story? No, he, he doesn't. You know, and that's the thing. What you see today is Wayne, you know. He, the same bloke. He's, he's the same bloke, but he... He he just loves being around the boys. He he loves mm. like you know we we you know if we oh, you know had our mad Mondays or whatever he'd hang out with us. Mm. He wouldn't drink. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't touch it. But he he just loved watching us making idiots of ourselves. <laughs> and um, he and was very he was very very honest with that. Yeah. Did he co- he'd comment and like go yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no but he just he, he didn't he didn't say much of it. He 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 get involved and that's that was a good part of Wayne. Like everyone, because he was a teetotaler, and um, mm. everyone thought he was against us having a good time, but he wasn't. Yeah, because he knew that's how we operated. He he famously said he's against drinking bans. Yeah, I think. Yes. Yeah, because like the Chooks did that, and yeah. I think that was in 2015. He said it, and yeah. and the, we beat them in the prelim here. Yeah, and he, he he trusted he, yeah. he trusts his players, you know, and um, that, that you know we're going to do the right thing, and I think you know, history shows we did because we won more games than we lost. Yeah, they wouldn't have put you on a drinking ban. No, <laughs> yeah. well, funny enough, I I didn't uh, I didn't drink too much back in the day. Believe oh, it or not, okay. yeah. believe it or not, I wasn't a big drinker, so I didn't touch it during the week. Right, and um, and our my big day was after a game, after the or day. big night. Yeah, yeah so right. that was it. What um, can I quickly ask between the '92 and the '98 teams? What's the comparison with this one? Yeah, look, I, I think this this team's got a really good balance. Yeah, um, you know, I say that because '92 was very different than '98. Um, in that, you know, we 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 had a good group of young players that come through in that '92, but it was a way the club it was very it was set up very differently from '88 through to '92, where '98. Um, you know, we had a good balance of us being in the old fellas. Like I was twenty eight, um, and Alf and even Kevy were even older, and, and Michael. And then you had all these young guys like you know, Brad Thorne and Darren yeah. Lock here and Shane Webke, Gordon Tallis. But you look at just just that group of names. Mm. Well, you know, why wouldn't you win the grand? Yeah, Prix? yeah. Well, that's what I think now. I reckon yeah. you know, with the names, if you you look at it on paper, and you obviously they're losing Fleggy and um, Herbie, mm. which will be big losses. And they got Reynolds now for the next year or so. If yeah. they don't win this year, I reckon they'd look back and go, how did we not win? And and mm. uh, my, this leads me to the question, this might be getting a bit far ahead of myself. Obviously, you won 92, 93, 97, 98, you won two in a row. Do you reckon they've got the crop to do it? Yeah, I think so, because yeah. they've got the attitude. Mm. Um, yeah. I, I tell you what was really uh, telling for me was that game against Melbourne. You know, I think we talked about it all field. We might talk about it just earlier, but... That, that, that just showed where they're at, the maturity yeah. this team has. Mm. Um, and, you know, I, I know we won't have Flegler in the middle and he's going to be a big loss. He will, oh. eh? Because he, he, what, what he's brought, he's actually matured. So early on I thought, oh, he's okay. But, geez, this year he's just... He just belts bloke. Oh, he does. And he, he's, he's coming to his own, yeah. you know. And so 
But you know, we we you have Xavier Willison. Not have you ever seen you seen He's Xavier huge, come on? Isn't he? He's a monster. Yeah. He's bigger than Payne. Wow. And really, he hasn't really got that fitness that Payne has. <laughs> And I watched his uh, two games this year. He scored a try in each yeah. his first two games for the Broncos. Well, I had money on him to score one of oh, those games. <laughs> well, I was that for 50000 oh, well, <laughs> No, I saw him score one try and it was so easy. Yeah. And, I, and then I saw him. Yeah. It was one of the or, in the origin period. And I was like, I reckon he's going over. He's oh, huge. He's hard like, to stop. He's yeah. just, just a big body. and you know he, That's he, exciting. Yeah, it is yeah. exciting. But there's other boys there too. Um, that Baker's coming from the Chooks. Yeah, Baker, yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, he yeah. should be all right. Well, he's tough, isn't he? Yeah, you know. So they they got they got some good backup, and I th- I think if we can keep someone like Reynolds mm. here for a couple more yeah. years, um, and bring young you know, Jock. young Jock through, um, yeah, you know, he, he's looking good, Jock. Yeah, fuck, you'd be you would have known Billy Walters for yeah. You know, yeah. So he's come on leaps and bounds, eh? He, he has, you know, and I don't think that's his natural when Billy. Um, played juniors and he played with my Billy mm-hmm. um, in a bit of rap and uh, he was a half. Yeah. yeah. So he's come through as a seven or six um, like his dad and, you know, he's had to adjust to being hooker. Um, yeah. And he's doing a good job. I hate hearing how people bag him and, yeah, and Kevy and shit. Like, that, it's just, you know. There was a lot of people yeah. early doing that when they yeah. – and, um, you know, it was a shame and it, Kevy stuck to it. Like, yeah. This is, this is where – He's their best hooker. At, yeah. the, at the club, yeah, yeah. He is. He without is. a doubt. So yeah. you know, no, without yeah. a doubt, and, and that's the thing. That's where Kevy, a, a coach, has to make the tough calls, mm. especially when it involves family. Yeah, um, but shows how good a coach Kevy is that he stuck by it. Yeah, and it's it's coming. I to think fruition. if you like when you're playing, you just need a bit of consistency, and you need like a few games in a row. You get better, and you you'd obviously adjust to how the team's playing, and you get better. I think you know yeah. any oh. any sport I've ever played, you know, yeah, you're like ten games in a row. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know where you fit, and yeah. you know Hooker is obviously very specialised, and um, you sort of think, well, he's, you know, I sort of knew he wasn't a specialised hooker, really. Mm. Um, but yeah, but he, he's adjusted really well. Yeah. Oh, mate, he, he's good. What was the after party like of '92 versus '98? <laughs> oh, Come yeah. on. You oh, know yeah. they won another two comps, right? Yeah, no, but <laughs> I'm like, fine, why are you fine. coming '92? Well, yeah. I've just got a how, feeling. Hold on, how's, w- how's this as well? We're, <laughs> this has come up on on <laughs> fucking TikTok and Instagram, yeah. and so we posted it. He, Alf's telling this story about the '90. Was it the '92 grand final? Yeah, I think. yeah he was telling. I saw it, and, so. and he goes, "Did you win?" So did you win the Mate, grand final? I saw that. Like, are you fucking one? kidding me? Mate, all the best have mind blowing Pearl. You know that, mate. And some someone um someone commented. They go, oh, he's actually just saying it so that people who don't know. Like, <laughs> oh. I was just thinking, you <laughs> wish, <laughs> bro. I had the keyboard warriors after yeah, me. Fuck it. Did you see it? Yeah, I did. Were you just like, I did see it. I said, did he just say yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> <it? laughs> Got I'm his, not seriously going on that potty, am I? Got his Broncos, Broncos visor on every oh, other fucking day. That's Mate, funny. I'm a huge Bronx man, but that was just a lapse in concentration. Yeah, you know, we all haven't. Did Alf actually answer? Did he yeah, yeah, he goes, yeah, I won the Clive Churchill. That's <laughs> right, that's right. He did too. He did too. Oh. oh, but anyway, so I mean, talking, you know, this is off field drama. So yeah. let's talk after parties. Like, which yeah. one out of all the four premierships that you won? Was there one that you were like, fuck yeah, me? Without bias, um, and guys have got to play them both, 92 was very, very special. When You know, first time uh, a club outside of New South Wales yeah. mm. had won, and the Queensland club um, had actually won the trophy, the Winfield Cup. and um, Big deal. Oh, massive. Yeah. Massive. And then we come back, we, we chartered the flight, you know, with Ansett and... Uh, we came back into Brizzy that night, and you know, I was fortunate enough. You look at the, there's a bit of footage around. I got to sit with the trophy, so the trophy Winfield oh, Cup shit, had yeah. its own seat. So I, you know, had my ex-wife on there. She had to sit <laughs> up the back, but anyway, um, <laughs> unfortunate. It probably probably was fortunate for her, but anyway, I was. You were getting into your work by this. Yeah, I was, I, was getting, I was getting into the swing, and uh, but yeah, it was good. You know, we we got back there to Brizzy, and Mick Hancock and I, I think we were carrying. The JJ Gilton and Shield up the mm. up the ramp. Or oh whatever, yeah, we had it all. On. Massive, get, yeah, yeah, the big the big shield. And, yeah, and and we were carrying it, and we're going, "What's that noise? You know, what's that noise up the end of the gantry?" We had no idea. The whole airport was just full of supporters. Yeah, oh, it was chock a block. 
Right, we, we, you couldn't move. They had security getting the path through. That's the, like rock star treatment. It was, That's it was, sick. and then down to the bus, and you know we had Nuss and all the management team had to get out. <laughs> <laughs> he, had, he had to get our, but yeah, he had to get all our <laughs> bags and that. But then on the drive back into Brizzy, the whole road, the old airport drive back in the day, was just mm. full. Of people, supporters. I just pulled up on the side, on the of, the side of the road. Yeah, honking their horns. And, <laughs> and then, then we get to the city and we're at, um, you know, the town hall. And they had a stage set up there. Chalkers. Yeah. And it was just, we, we couldn't believe it. We That's could awesome. not believe it. Funny story about Norse. For those Fuck who us. don't know who Norse is, he was the, was he the player manager? He's our yeah. play, player manager. He was the player manager of the Bronx back in the day and he's a, Good bloke, regular here at the Caxton. And he, um, I was watching on TV and there was, getting off a plane, I think. Yes. And Nuss is there um, in like this turtleneck, <laughs> Nike turtleneck, just like in the background and he's next to Dell and Big Dell's got the sunnies on and like, <laughs> God, I thought it was funny. Just how he looked. Yeah, like, yeah. You're wearing a turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that? that? That was a 90s fashion, mate. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Oh. God, I, 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 could, I could imagine Dell's sunnies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those yeah. yeah. speed dealers. He thought he was Shaq, I reckon, back then. <laughs> He'd be oh. good fun on the piss, Dell. Oh yeah, mate. I I fortunate enough to obviously to, to play with Adele and I room with him uh, a few times, and he's just a laugh, mate. And oh. uh, I just, you know, you talk about you know having a, a drink, and he 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 made a name for himself at the club. He'd always turn up the train and late, and really? I was just say to him, mate. And Wayne used to find us, and I was always I was the opposite since I was out. I'd turn up an hour early. And people yeah. go, what are you doing? here? I said, oh, just don't want to miss training. Mm. Yeah. And uh, anyway, so Dell comes along, you know, a couple of years later. I said, bro, you're getting busted here. <laughs> so he's got to about, you know, back in the day, it, it doubled every time he got fined, you know, and he's, he's getting into the thousands. Oh, what, money? Money. money was, yeah, but, right. Yeah, fined by Wayne. I said, hey, you've got to pull you. <laughs> what did Wayne do with the money? I just went into the kitty for <laughs> oh. the end of the season trip. <laughs> That's where all that's where all the spare cash went. <laughs> yeah. That's why Dell knew it was coming yeah, back to him it anyway. Was back to him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so yeah. funny. But the big Dell, you, yeah, but you, you know, you, but he always put in a hundred percent. Even though it was because he, he liked he liked the midweek drink and yeah. that, you know he kept that pretty quiet from Wayne, but um, he got away with it. Was he? I remember I was talking to you about how James Roberts. He wasn't a big big trainer. Were you a good <laughs> trainer like yourself? That was terrible, yeah. mate. Because he because he said, oh, I think maybe you were telling me. He'd go, it's just, tra- just training, bruh. It's like, just training. <laughs> like, yeah. like, why go hard if you're going to – and he'd turn it on. Oh, and yeah. Like, and know. Wayne was very patient with that sort of yeah. stuff, I must admit. Because people ask me, what word would you use with, with Wayne and you? And I said, oh, patience. <laughs> really? Said, yeah, because I'd, I'd, I'd go to train. He's, but the good thing about Wayne, he, he you know, he always recognised where you sat. So he knew as an individual. So he would say to me – and this is, you know – into my career, and he goes, he says, you know, the good thing about you is that you come to train, you turn up early, uh, you compete, you compete, uh, sorry, you complete, um, and you finish everything, and he says, that's all I ask of you. Yeah. I say, he says, he don't win anything at training, he says, <laughs> but, yeah, that's all I said, yeah, well, we win them on the week. Would it, would it have anything to do with your fucking 142 tries? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably what. Is that how many you scored? Yeah, yeah 142. Yeah. Um, and how many games was it, like 200 or? or? Uh, 183, I think. <laughs> Yeah. Shit a brick That's, that's crazy yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I wouldn't mind Getting on you any time Each <laughs> yeah. day of the week In and the it, same game But it was It's just the way We played footy And I was very fortunate And then You know Because you got used to it As a young age Like I, I think I scored My first four try haul When I was 21 or 20 And how many times You do that Five Yeah see that Five. Think about that Yeah so <laughs> Still who hasn't scored Four in his career <laughs> <laughs> But yeah so Then you get used to it And then yeah. When you get When you don't score a try In, in the In the the uh, supporters go, oh, you didn't score a try this week. Yeah. Said, yeah, but we won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 but you didn't score. Yeah. I was like, come on. What have I got to do <laughs> for you, gonna, Prince? Yeah, just score. <laughs> <laughs> what about Lottie? What did you think of Lottie to Kira? Yeah, well, Lottie came through after just me. After. Just after. I think we got to play a couple of games with Lottie. Now, he was touted. He was a centre. Mm. So, he was, I think he was down Logan Way. And I remember Porky Morgan, and because he was in the younger grades, and talk about him at our mm. um, end of season balls, and... Porky Morgan had wrapped this rap on this kid, you know, Lottie Takiri. He's going to be our next next star centre and um, blah, blah, blah. And came through, but then Wayne sticks him on the wing and that's where he stayed. Yeah, right. He, he might have played a couple of games in the centres, but... Um, killed always, it too. Yeah, I killed it, yeah. Oh. But I always say to Lottie, I said, you know, you, you were supposed to be a centre, <laughs> you know, when I left. He goes, yeah, I got stuck on the wing. <laughs> Speaking of that, didn't Dell start in like second row? 
No, he well, ended up going to second row for a while. Yeah, right. Um, firstly for Queensland, I think. Yeah, right. Um, he had to fill in, and he went really well, Dale, because he's so competitive. Yeah, and and then she did be hard to stop, like oh, just in any oh, on any yeah position, like yeah, exactly. And yeah. I, I still remember remember watching him. I mean, I got to play, um, you know, with some big wingers. So obviously Wendell, Mick Hancock, Willie Kahn. Yeah. Willie Kahn wasn't small um, back in the day, and Lottie. And I used, to, I used to sit there and go, oh, wow. Yeah, who, was, who was your favourite? Out of – oh, look, obviously being – They're all watching too, mate. They're, <laughs> they're all watching. Like, I, I love the, th- the three of them, those three, because I just played most of my career with them. Yeah. Uh, Mickey Hancock, yeah, obviously, he was, he was – we were, we were always on the left side <coughs> together and we were roomies yeah. at every level. So, yeah. yeah, Mick Hancock, some of the stuff I've seen him do and, and it's just amazing. He's so he, – I used to say to him he's, he's a bit too – too competitive Really Yeah you know He's just like He just have a go Angry Angry yeah Yeah, yeah angry Mick <laughs> and, and I still remember The 94 Kangaroo Tour And where Mal throws a ball To me Which I thought Was a face ball So I let it go And Mick dived at it And this is One of the last Training sessions Before the test First test He popped his shoulder And oh. missed the test and I just went over And I said Mate you're too competitive He goes <laughs> I won't tell you what he said to me, but um, he was in a lot of pain. And uh, but he had, I had to room with him for the rest of the tour with his busted oh. shoulder. Who was your winger outside then? After that, after that, Rod Wishart. Yeah, they, right. they put in. Oh. Yeah, so he he was good. You know, Wishy yeah. and um, you know he was he was no different to Mick. You know, but he just wasn't as grumpy as Mick. Those <laughs> camps overseas would have been fucking hilarious. Oh mate, amazing shit, mate. I debuted in '92 in the World Cup, so we were there, we went there after the grand final. Yeah, that and we. Isn't that funny? They picked about eight Broncos, and we just won the grand final. Yes, yeah, four. So they should have. Oh, we were. Sh- I know, but we were. Shit. <laughs> so we, 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 we were on the drink. We're yeah. like, hey, can we put it back another week? <laughs> the monster. <laughs> <laughs> so we end up. We end up. We end up going over there, and it, it's funny because Chris Johns and Mel Meninga were the centers, and I thought. I'm just a third stringer. Yeah. So guess what I was doing? I was having a good time. You're all still going. And I'm just going, oh, how good is this? How good are these tours? So they come up to the, you know, played pretty good in the in the midweek games and, you know, we were on the drink the whole time and and then get to the selection and he picks, picks, picks me. Picks you. Picks me in a starting centre and John's on the bench. And I was like, what? Who was the coach, Fulton? Yeah, Bobby Fulton. Yeah, yeah. Bozo, yeah. And Bozo was good, you know, he... I was under him all my time with with Australia, and you know you can say what you like about Bozo, but the bloke could play, and he he was a good coach. Good coach, yeah, he was. You know, and I always said that to Wayne. Wayne's obviously my number one coach. I said the only two really coaches that I do respect fully mm. are you and Bobby Fulton because they they just knew how to talk to you. Yeah. Did you I'm say Bozo, mate? I've been on the fucking piss for the last week and a half. <laughs> oh, I think he knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I couldn't believe it. I, you know. I'm, Firstly, because it was my debut. Yeah. And I was thinking, um, well, <laughs> I've got to have a quiet week. <laughs> Aren't they doing that again? The tests? Yeah. They're bringing them back? The yeah. The yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, what do you do? You play all like the um, club sides and stuff like that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, during the week, you play all the club teams and um, and then you. It, it's, it's a good concept. Yeah. And because 94 uh, was a kangaroo tour, we were the last as the old concept, the 94 tourists. Mm. Um, you know, eight weeks in England and two weeks in France, and so yeah, so they play the clubs during the week, and we were the we were the kangaroos, and if you knew you were in the test team, and the other guys are called the, the emus, emus, yeah, emus, yeah. So Kevy was captain of the emus. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a title Alf gave me. <laughs> What's the Gordy was saying something like you called him Yuck. He yeah, had a Ke- nickname Yuck. Yeah, was your, it? Your Kevy. Yeah, so. He had a few nicknames, Kevin. Yeah. And it was Peter Jackson. Look, God bless his soul. Peter Jackson, really good bloke. Him and Kevy were close. I got to play with Jacko, obviously, and uh, just a grog monster. And <laughs> But he, he he just called – he come to the club and because he, he was with him at Canberra and he come out of this thing and he go, hey, yuck. <laughs> going, what's, what's he mean? And it's, it's because when he was younger he had a crater face and he, he – oh, oh, that's – You're <laughs> kidding. Just for the people's <laughs> – and then he had another one. He had another one, EM, which Elf, I think, brought up. And that was Elephant Man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, Kevy copped them all. <laughs> Poor Kevy. Oh, he <laughs> must have big shoulders, Kevy. Oh, does, mate. Especially when you're broom with Elf. Like, you just, this is, it was. He's God, unrelenting, not, eh? I, I reckon. And I don't know how Kevy did it. You know? Yeah. But, you know, we, we see Kevy and we'll, we'll get, yeah, like, hey, yuck. And he just laughs. He just laughs it off. 
Oh, he won. He won like six comps, didn't he? Six comps, yeah. That's so, so fucked. Five with Brisbane, and then one with Canberra. One with Canberra, yeah, amazing. That's and crazy. But he would have won some too as like assistant coaches too, if you add that up. Or did we not at is, Melbourne? This is his playing. We're talking. Yeah, I know, yeah. but I'm just trying yeah. to add to his resume here. <laughs> yeah. like, fucking hell, we've just given him a bad rap. You've, you've got a crosshair on your, on your fucking back, mate, after what you said. <laughs> Kevin's coming after me. <laughs> so you never got to room with Alfie? No, oh, maybe. Like Origin? Would you have wanted to? No, <laughs> no. I can tell you, because so, we, we, I used to float around when we go away and, you know, you go into a room. So I'd go to, I'd with Mick, so i just... Leave Mick because he was grumpy and go and go to the other boys' room. <laughs> Alf would be in Alf and Kevin, so I go and sit with them for a while. I go and sit here and there. And nice to think, God, how can you put up with this? Kevin? Like, <laughs> it's honestly, it's just, it's so what would he do? Just oh, I can't take you it. can't just <laughs> weird shit. Just weird <laughs> shit. <laughs> but Kevin just took it. Yeah, you know? just took it. Oh. What about Lockyer? What was he like? Because yeah. obviously Gerald told us a few stories, but you would have got him when he was real young. Yeah, and look. I had a bit of association with Lockie. You know, we got him really well on the field, but mm. off the field. And, I, you know, I got a lot of respect for him. And, and to watch him coming through the Broncos was just amazing. Yeah. His, his development. But, yeah, Lockie, uh, what's his alias? Daryl, isn't it? Daryl, <laughs> yeah. And that's definitely, definitely that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it so many times. It's just like, where did that come just from? Just a different. <laughs> does he just flick a switch? Yeah, it just gets yeah. to that point. I don't know how many pots in it was back yeah. in the day, but it was like. Is he drink bourbon? Yeah, he likes I, Jimmy's, not, I think. I don't yeah, know. I yeah. think I think he might, but back in the day, all I remember is drinking beer, you know, with the yeah, boys. Yeah. And, oh, um, no. But it was just funny, and then then all of a sudden, I'm going, is that is that him? Is that, is that <laughs> <Lockie>? <laughs> no, where it's Daryl. Where did that come from? <laughs> Oh, that's so funny, rude. man. He's funny, man. I, lo- I love how, like, you know, you hear about all the people like Joey and yeah. and like even like Maddie and everyone like that. But you just in you never hear about Lockie. Yeah, I know. Like he, he, in the media, he, stuff, he slipped, it's just, yeah, yeah, under the radar. Yeah, slipped like, under the radar yeah. there, Lockie. Just uh. about everyone else, and then he's just. <laughs> But yeah. everyone knows when Lockie's <laughs> ready to play up, Lockie's having a good time. Uh, oh, that's it's, gold. You're funny because you mentioned Lockie and he, he was great. He he's because I got to play outside him. He played a bit of five eight, but obviously fullback. And he was the only other player that sort of got the out ball right. And we talk about the out ball that yeah. Kerry and I are famous mm. for. <laughs> and um and then I go to Wigan and and all Matty Johns wanted to do, he was a five eight in two thousand one. He goes, Come Pill, can can you tell me how do we do the out ball? I said, It's not the coach, mate. I I, kind of, I said I don't know. It just happens. So I don't. I don't pass the fucking thing. <laughs> exactly. You're the five eight. Like, <laughs> and uh, I said, Kevy just does it. He, I said half the time he forces me into it. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it just happens. And he goes, "Oh, we'll, oh, we'll practice it." And, and then I, one game we were, we were playing Halifax, and he tries this out ball. I just stone cold drop it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, he goes, "What? What was wrong with that pass? <laughs> nothing, mate. Nothing." <laughs> That was my fault. No, you should from you. <laughs> you should have cheated him. I'm a good mate. Just a little bit more out. Yeah, exactly. But, oh. but but when we went into um, Australian teams and even in the Origin teams, you know, players come from other clubs, they all wanted to know how we did the apple. I mm. said, it's, it, you just can't explain it. Yeah. Uh, you know, and that was a thing between me and Kevy and Kevy and Johnsy, and then then it become Lockie mastered it. Mm. Yeah. It's just about the past, to be honest. Lockie used to do it with Hodges. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. And like and Brent Tate and stuff when they were in the centres, I remember. Yeah, but see, yeah. Hojo had, had the problem that yeah, you get that ball on the outside, but Hojo wanted to run you over s- someone, so you still step back into yeah, yeah, yeah. to, to run into someone. Yeah. He get this into you. Oh God, that's funny about Matty. Like yeah. you know, you see him on TV doing all the analysis. How do you throw an out ball? Yeah, like, what? He he was up here on Magic Round. There's a video oh, of it of yeah. him of him running shape. He's talking about running <laughs> shape with people, yeah. and there's about like. Oh, probably like 10 people up here just watching him, like Darcy and Klutz and stuff, yeah. and someone's filming it. And they're all just like eyes like massive yeah. and like just in awe of him talking. And I I was in here, like I was sober and I'm, and yeah. I'm listening. And I was like, I reckon he is just talking absolute shit to him. <laughs> <laughs> He's hooked everyone. Yeah. just You, you should have yelled out, how do you part through the out ball? Yeah, I wish, <laughs> I, I, wish I knew, yeah. Uh, but he, he grabbed them all and he goes, here, you stand here. Oh, you yeah. stand here now, you run over there. <laughs> what the fuck's going on he was, here? He was taking the piss. Oh. What was he like to play with? Yeah, he was good, mate. He's a lot of fun and, um, you know, him and him and Joey are very different. Joey's fun. You know, I got to play 98 Australian team with Joey and, 
um, you know, good bloke, and but they, they are very different, mm. um, you know. Um, but you know, spending the year in in Wigan with Maddie, with uh, it was really good with him and the family, Trish, his wife, and um, you know, so we come become pretty close in that year, and yeah, good bloke. Are yeah. those two connecting, Maddie and Andrew, or what's the go there? That that, that they re- they made up, I think. Have yeah, they? They made up. I mean, that's sort of. Well, it's all for media. Well, there's a little bit in there. I mean. It's, um, you know, there's a little, Come on, dish it up. What have you got co- for A little bit of controversy <laughs> over the years, yeah. you know. And, but T- but Taking the spotlight or something. Yeah, you know, so... But, you know, it's, that's just... I think that's brothers, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think he would... <coughs> or Joey always would say, you're a shit player. And Maddie's always been like, well, you're a shit commentator. <laughs> yeah. And stuff. Yeah, I think he, it's like that. That's the battle. I haven't heard him calling him barge ass for a while. <laughs> What? Yeah, Red he, Dragon, no, yeah. He, he used Red to call Dragon. Oh, Red Dragon. Well, he used to call his brother, he says, oh, barge ass. <laughs> yeah. What did he say? He said, um, the baker thing? You don't need to... Oh, you don't oh. need to be a good baker to know. If bread, bread tastes, tastes good. good. Yeah. <laughs> Great slogan. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. you got to respect Matty for realising Queensland. Get it. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Like, And, and he's, that, he's that sort of bloke, so he, he's a bit, bit more realistic than, say, others. His, the the Matty John show is the best... Oh, Show on, sports show on TV, I reckon. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is, and they're, they're very relaxed. I've been on it a few times, and even prior, you know, they're, they're have few, beers and yeah. a few beers, and so they're pretty relaxed on there. And it's sort of, yep, they're being directed around the show, but it's just mainly all comes off. Just the funny. Yeah, yeah. It's funny, you know. It'd be easy with Fletch and Hindy. Oh yeah, well they you know, just those two. Yeah. Idiots. They are yeah. laid back, eh? Yeah. Oh, they are, and and that's how, how do you how do you get a, a multi. National show or you know show like that yeah. for just being yourselves. That's yeah. virtually what they do. It's just chemistry. Yeah, yeah, it is. They did all the stuff out here with um, in Magic Round as well. Same weekend <coughs> I was talking about with that cage, and they are just like like Fletch is just honestly the f- one of the funniest people I reckon <laughs> that it exists. Yeah. He's so effortlessly funny. Yeah, he and is. he and he tries like he he knows he's funny, but he's so. Just the little shit he does and the things he says is yeah. fucking. Oh, yeah, like, is it just he's makes good. you cr- smile. Yeah, like, he does, yeah. And, and, he, and yeah, he's, he's like that. His personality's yeah. like that, and it, it's good to over the years that was, you get to spend a little bit of time with them as a group. Mm. Um, you know, because you know, because I, I think the other times I've been down there, Gordy's been there as well, and you know, there's another dynamic there. With Gordy, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, <laughs> they love they, getting stuck into yeah. it. They love getting stuck into <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> he hates it. Eh? Oh, he, he hates does. anyone hanging shit on him, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he doesn't like it. <laughs> was there? Were he getting any punch ons at training, Gordy? No, not at training, mate. We had a few over the years. Really? Um, Between no. Oh, I, I can give you a good example. Ninety-two grand final, mm-hmm. which Brisbane won. Um, no, thanks for that. Yeah, that's all right. Um, <laughs> so back back in the day, it was the top five, and we we won the. The first major semi, so we went to the grand. We had a week off, so we get on the drink, which is unheard of these days. So the, we had the weekend off, so we're up the road here at an old Greek restaurant, and just got hammered, you know, with our wives and the whole team and blah blah blah. So then we had we had the week running the training, so we're all a bit grumpy and tired, yeah. <laughs> and it was hot. You know, it was, well, hot. It was days like this, and I still remember there was a there was a bust up in the middle of the field. We we're playing a game of touch, and it was between Willie Khan and Terry Madison. Mm. They actually had a go at each other because someone tagged him too hard or something. Yeah. And they took offence to it and the ball was shown and then jab here, jab there. Punches thrown. And we had media, like radio, you know, all on the side and no one picked it up. Really? And we're going, hey, fuck, come on. <laughs> <you're doing?" laughs> They're just so, wrestling. They're, just wrestling. <laughs> They're having a blue in the middle of the field. We, uh, weekend, the week yeah. of the grand final. That'd be front page oh, these days. I know. I don't know how people missed it, but they did. Yeah, yeah Pete Bedell would be all over that <laughs> shit now, wouldn't <laughs> Pete he? Pete Bedell. Would it? Um, we had Alfie was saying, you know, he didn't change his routine and told the story about how him and Trevor Gilmeister was Yeah, Gilly. Went they to the went races. to the races. What was your little pre-game, mate? You went heading to the track or anything like no, that? No, mate. No, I didn't punt. That's another thing I didn't do back in the day. So punt. they just let loose at the track pre-game, those two? Yeah, exactly. Or was there a crew of them? No, I think it was just those two. and It could have been any either, you know, other yeah, players, yeah. but that day was Gilly and, um, you know, Alfie. But then, as, as the story goes, he rocks up. We're at the airport. They rock up the airport and else opened up. It's <laughs> like, what the? And everyone's going, what happened to you? And he's like, nothing, nothing. Someone was saying, is that fair, Nick? It's fair, Yeah. 
Yeah, it is. They it's asked a, me. And I so said, they called in sure. on the track on the way out to the airport and yeah. put a bet on. As he, I think he talked about his horse. Yeah. He opened himself up on a bloody uh, bookies board. That's Did, so funny. Have you, he had a greyhound called Alfie Long. Have you had anything named after you, like the Pearl or something that you know of? Oh, look, there's there's been a horse running around. He's still running around the sunny coast. He's running Brizzy called Renoff. Oh, I don't know it. if that was named after me, but it's got my surname, so I'll claim it. Claim that. My mate's got, his dad's got some ownership in that. Oh, true, yeah. yeah. Johnny yeah. Richards. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. I don't know um, how they, where the name come from, but yeah. yeah. We'll go it. with I'll you. Claim we'll it. I'll claim it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't had 142 wins. No, no, no. <laughs> it's along that line. So, Origin Cairns. I was just about to touch on yeah, that. Good let, stuff, mate. Let, let's mm, get yeah. into that, because Alfie obviously... He gave us a little entree, but he said, talk to the Pearl. He'll wind you yeah, up. Right. So. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, mate, it, it, it's it's quite um, uh, eye-opening because, you know, go back to when I, I debuted in, in 1991. I think I was still 20 uh, when I debuted. Mm-hmm. And so for me, you've heard all these stories, you know, from the Wally year. And mind you, Wally was our captain. But um, they were a lot wilder prior to us. Uh, but we we're, were fortunate enough, you know. It's just... It's, you get together, and back then it was like some of the camps are thirteen days, <laughs> and so you had this five day on the on the trip. in in Brizzy or, or where would or, yeah ma- no or, mainly in Brizzy mainly yeah. in Brizzy we go down to the Gold Coast to or Sanctuary night. yeah is that well, where no, they we go or not no we didn't back in the day no not that we thing. just had the Goldie I didn't even know where that was <laughs> just we, somewhere on so, the Goldie so, we we said, we said that, Mel- that was, Melbers that was yeah, I was going to say that was just to go to Melbers. <laughs> I just snorted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I heard it. <laughs> Melba's. <laughs> Did it again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so Melba's was the thing. That's all we were looking forward to. And I still remember it was just because we'd get together in the camp. You have your, have your fitness test. Mm. And then it was because we were sponsored by Forex. Fuck. It was just like, okay, boys, we're out to do some Forex promos now. And that was like every pub around here. <laughs> like, yeah. Actually, and you just, just on the drink. And then you go out wherever. I don't know. Yeah. Rosie's Tavern or whatever. Do you reckon New South Wales would have done the same thing? Not as hard as we no. did, I don't think. To be honest, you know, and it, because you get to talk to the boys. And I, mm. I, I just think they just, they just, they did things different. They don't and get they it. still do. Yeah. yeah, they don't get it. So. And I, my big thing was, remember there was a place up the road called Cafe Neon? Yeah, yeah, I've you, heard, you, you about heard about that. You guys remember I've heard about it. We yeah. used to call it Cafe Free Drinks. So <laughs> we, we'd go in there. I remember going the first night and Peter Jackson's there. And he's, Peter Jackson, he got a, he's like six foot two or three. He's a big man. He's got big hands. And he, we're all, we've been wrist This is in the night, yeah. that night. And he's walked over and went one of those taller tables. And I'm sitting there. And I'm, this is my debut. I'm a kid. And I see him walking over, he's got these rum and cokes, and he's got about 10 in his hand, <laughs> and he's carrying little glasses, and I thought, what a good bloke, and he puts them on the table beside me, and he just goes, bang, 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 next them, a whole lot of them in front of me. I was like, oh, they're not for me. <laughs> <laughs> he just went hard. <laughs> oh. So what, you had to grab 10 yourself you then? Yeah, I had to go back to your mate. I had to take your three trips. Who was that? Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. fuck, he could drink some piss, oh, eh? He could, he, Did he pass away? Yeah, he, he passed, did. Yeah. He did. You know, and he, he had a he had a few problems, Jacko, and we all loved him. You know, and it, it, that was one of the sad, sad times and during everyone's career. He was close to Kevy. Yeah. Um, and I still remember I was I was on holidays up in Harvey Bay with my family. You know, the, the, the boys were only young, and um, you know, I got the phone call uh, yeah. from Wayne Bennett about, it and I was like, wow. I was like, because you you had all these other. Mental health problems, but yeah, but it just came to you know, and a lot of lot of pe- different people suffer with that sort of thing. And it, it, Jacko, it just it just got to him. In the was end. he playing? Was he still no, contracted he, at the no, time, or no, he retired? He retired. He got on the commentary uh, with ABC. Yeah, right. Um, so he was doing a bit of commentary around the place, you know, and uh, he, he was good on air as well. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, and and we all loved him. He, he's such you know, fortunate enough that he came to spend a bit of time at the Broncos. Yeah. But then to play Origin with. With Jacko, that's that's pretty special. Yeah. Was it the you reckon like you know when you say getting on the piss was it that camaraderie that was the secret little weapon just getting on the grog or was there something in the forex that was getting you boys <laughs> across the line? No, I don't know about that. But <laughs> Jacko used to come to uh, training and he sometimes he he wouldn't be on the bus but he'd get there on time for training and uh, we'd all be hung over but he, he used to have the Mylander tablets oh, yeah. and they used to call him Mylander mouth. He just <laughs> he'd just chew him and he he'd come to training like. And like heartburn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Heart, are they yeah. heartburn tablets? Yeah, yeah, 
And so you'd have this Mylanta. The Mylanta, you get a drink, but he, they, we had tablets. And he used to have it all, it's all across his teeth. And the, <laughs> so old Mylanta my 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 mouth, we called him. I fucking get the worst heartburn. Yeah, I'll try Mylanta. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. Um, is this a scoop for Mylanta? Yeah. <laughs> or Zant- Zantac. Oh, Zantac. Take, yeah. You take a couple Zantac tablets. See, oh, I, don't, I don't get. Uh, mate, mate. So, yeah, you I don't, don't want it. It's debilitating. Yeah. It's the worst. I was out at dinner and I I'd had a few drinks and I'd. Was with someone and I had to. Um, I said, "It's on a date." I said, oh. I've, got to, I've got to go for. I'll be back in about five ten. I, I literally sprinted to a Seven Eleven and just came back with this. Or they were my. I think they were my lantern or something yeah. else. It's fucked. The it's bird would have thought you, you'd you done burp, a runner. Did you burp yeah. all night then, Anna? Did I? No, I, it's like <laughs> he bile. did other things. Bile. <laughs> he did other <laughs> thing. It's just oh, I hate even thinking about. It. Surely yeah. anyway, there'd be some of the boys at training that'd be in a bad way, just chundering or nah. It yeah, no. Just- preseason, preseason was tough. Um, we've all been there. We've all been to the as Calvin yeah. Giles did. You know, go to the cliff. You get to look over the oh, cliff. Fuck. But uh, you know, and, um, over, over to the edge. And yeah, but yeah, plenty of times, mate. I've, I've had a no, few. but like when you're on Origin camp and you'd been on the squirt oh, all day, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, yeah. or would they go easy on you, kind of thing? Nah, or not? Well, <laughs> nah. So it was you drink hard, you train hard. Yeah, yeah. right. And so. that was just the mentality. And that was the mentality. So the, the day, uh, the first training session after our night out was a flogging. Just absolutely <laughs> just bash one another or yeah. Yeah, just get just get hammered. What, what <laughs> was your favourite uh, origin series? Is there any that stick out? Because obviously, well, yeah, well, obviously people always talk about grand finals and that. So. Yeah, look, for oh, me, thanks, man. yeah, for me, to be honest, it, it'd have to be because I only got the win, playing a couple of win in origin series, you know, because yeah. I missed a, a few through injury and um, also um, Super League, but mm. um, f- so for me, it was my final one was 98. When yeah, we right. And, and so that was origin, and you know we we won that, and we won that in Sydney, which was even better at the SFS, and because um, that's when the young followers would come, to like Tony Carroll, I think oh. he scored a t- try in that game, and Benny oh, Hyde. I remember that one, yeah, yeah. So that was that was pretty special to me because I knew it was my last one too. So I hadn't told anyone, but I was retiring from rep footy after that game, yeah. uh, or after sorry after um, we got. Selected in the Australian team, but that was the that was my last Origin. Yeah, and uh, we won the series. So for me, that was that was pretty special. Yeah, um, t- to be honest, and that that was the the one. Well, you were a part of the one where they Mark Coyne scored. Mm. Oh, yeah, and that's that, not a try. That's a miracle. Yeah, yeah that's ninety four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that and that was special. Like that that we didn't win the series though, but that game was. If you go by games, apart from my debut, that was that the was one? that yeah. was special because we. That, they were big noting themselves the whole game. They they sort of got ahead of us. Oh, fuck them. In the first half. And I, I remember Laurie Daly and Brad Mackay having a laugh after he scored a try. And I thought, he's oh, wankers. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, and then so we were behind at half time, but we slowly, we started, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. we scored a try. Oh, we're coming back. And we had, no, and we had this last ditch effort, you know, seconds to go. And it was virtually... Let's ping it and see yeah, what yeah, happens. Yeah. You know the old let's ping it? Yeah, yeah, coast yeah. That's coast. what we did. Yeah. So we just went bang, bang, bang. <laughs> and we ended up down the opposite corner to where we were. Yeah. That went from one corner to back my to corner. Your, and then, then back. Yeah, yeah. Across the other side. And Corny goes yeah. over. And I'm going, oh, my God, he's just scored. That's yeah. like, wow. Get that up, you fucking voodoo, <laughs> Laurie. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you hate from New South Wales? Oh. Was there anyone that you were just like, you fucking grub? Uh, no, not really. You're a lover, Pearl. Yeah, not you? really. Yeah. I, I got on with – and I, I like myself – Blokes and I must admit, um, he just annoyed me generally. But he's a good bloke <laughs> mm. um, off the field. Terry Hill, oh okay. yeah, yes. and and he, I, he, I, you yeah. know, I like he Do knows, you know, he, he, know, he knows I like him. So he'll, yeah. if he ever hears this, he won't, yeah, yeah. he won't jump on me. Apparently, he's pretty big these days. <laughs> the Terry Hill, oh, like, like as in big as in chunky or yeah, chunky, chunky, Jacked. like a buck ten or how yeah. fat would he be? I don't know. I haven't seen him, so I shouldn't say that. He. Who did he play for, Manly and the and Tigers? Yeah, so he... The Tigers, he did, did he play for... He was a South Junior. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. he went... I think he went to the Roosters as well. He's, oh, played, yeah. he's a bit of a journeyman. He he had that look on him where you don't... He, he's got that face where you don't... Yeah, he's well... He's kind of annoyed by him. Yeah, well, he but he, he would. He talked too. So I, I actually yeah. ran with him once. He talked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> did he play rep footy? Yeah, he, so Ke, Wayne Bennett always says that Kevy and I played him into an Australian jersey in 98. Because no. uh, we had a shocker against Manly, <laughs> and so they had this they had this mid season test. Or, or, 
you know, it wasn't the end of the season and in 98. So him and I got picked in the centres. So it's like the Adam, Adam McDougal vibes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, does he give you mad dog vibes? Just like, yeah. oh, how do you explain it? That's so. Fun. That's good. But he, but he, look. I must admit, he was a good story. He, gave, uh, he was a good person. He gave me some good stories. He's growing up. Like he, he grew up pretty rough. Yeah, did really. He? Yeah. In South Sydney, yeah. yeah. So he's done well to do what he's done. You know, when you hear his story as a kid, um, so that's why I got respect for him. Yeah, yeah. Of course. I, I just take the piss out of yeah, him. Yeah, say, yeah, you know, yeah. Because um, he, he might come after me. <laughs> <laughs> did Mal ever invite you into camp post career or did anyone in Orange and camp or oh, no? It's always open door. Ro- so it's oh, always okay. open door. So if you want to go in there, you want to have breakfast with the boys or go and have dinner and mm-hmm. just say good day, it's open door. So God, that's good. Yeah. So that's the dip, that's I think that's another I don't know whether New South Wales do, do that. that. But it, that, I think that's a great thing. That is good. Yeah. God, it's been good the last, like, this series in particular. Oh. I, I, it was just, a shame we lost game three, obviously. Yeah, but, but Billy Slater, you know, he, I wasn't that much of a fan of him being coached so quickly. And I, was, I went on record saying, you know, mm. I, didn't, I didn't bag you or anything, but yeah. I, I just thought he's... A bit not, soon? Yeah, a bit soon. Yeah. And Untrialed. I, I, I think a lot of people thought it, but he obviously gets it, which is great. Mm. So as the next, well, he, which he is now current, mm. but... That next after Mel era, that we got someone like Billy, that's you know keeping that legacy go on. Yeah, because you always look at that era and you got to say that's a that's like a Mel legacy, isn't it? You know, he coached oh, all for those sure. things. Well, you know? you'd think he gets it after winning eight in a row. Yeah, you know what satisfies me is that New South Wales. Who the who's who have they got next? Who's yeah. what's their choice of coach? I know it's it's because yeah. like you could pick Billy Cam Smith. Maybe Cronk, JT. They're all the coaches. They're all in the coaching staff. Mm. But you could pick any of them as head coach or, but you know, who have New South Wales got? Gallon? Oh, <laughs> oh fucking hell. Well, there's, right. you know, the thing about New Willie South Wales. Willie Mason? No, well, I think Boyd Cordner might put his hand up. You really? Yeah, that's my mail. Okay. Mm. That'd be, yeah, that'd be, be all right. A, yeah. Yeah. I, Boyd, yeah. I like Boyd Cordner. Yeah. But the thing is, it, it's nearly becoming a poison chalice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. To be honest. When you look at what news uh, Queensland have done to him over the yeah this period, who would want it? Who'd want it? Like Paul Laurie, remember Laurie? I shouldn't say that. Paul Laurie, yeah, Laurie. Yeah. Well, even Ricky Stewart. Yeah. yeah, he went through it. Yeah, you know he, he didn't last long. Belly Belly Ake had a crack. Yeah, Belly Ake. Who else was there? It, it's it's very um, it's a specific role, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of Freddie in the whole barefoot? You know, he's one with nature. Do you like Freddie or? No, I love Freddie. Yeah. yeah. Um, as I said, I, you know, I, I tour him with him and I played, you know, most of my um, kangaroo games with him and good bloke. But I, when I t- he told me he went to that airy fairy, so I wasn't too sure about that. <laughs> the, what? A, the what? The airy yeah. fairy. You know, he's one with nature, Freddie. With yeah, the and I think he, I, I don't know if he's yeah. – is he vegan? Yeah, vegan. Oh, he? and yeah, he's, he's sort of gone to that side. If yeah. he could make love with a tree, he probably would. <laughs> oh, he probably has. <laughs> he wouldn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> would, how would Joey go as a coach? Yeah, well, you know, would he ever stick his hand up? You Probably know? not. No, that's the thing. That's what I mean. It's coming a bit of a poison chalice. Yeah. So, I, I think Andrew will plays the safe. I'll be assistant, and I'll, or you know, I'll be an. Uh, Commentator, give or a bit no, of a specific coach. Yeah. You know, they, he go, he sells himself. There's no pressure. The There's, There's no, no pressure. pressure. No pressure yeah. as assistant coach. Yeah. You know? Um, You'll be a, a kicking specialist, yeah. a kicking coach yeah. and shit like that. Yeah. 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 And I always, always look at those guys and go, you got the best job in the world, you boys. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because <laughs> the well, media won't come after you. Nah. Or and then if you if they lose, it's like, oh, well, you, yeah. we'll make you, you know. It's a head coach. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to fill in for yeah. a couple of games? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is there a player in today's day where you were like, fuck, I wish I could lace the boots up, boots up with you? Oh look, there's a, there's a lot, you know, and um, it, it's um, I, I think it's yeah, there, there's a lot of good players running around at mm. the moment, and uh, but even, even going back, you know, Cam Smith, you, you know, I, I saw I saw what he he did. You got to see him time and time again. Well, how he he ran a game from hooker and dominated. Yeah, you know, and just going wow, you know, because you got a lot of respect of you know, I've had some good hookers like Carrot Walters and Steve Walters and. Um, you, you can see what they do, and Ken Smith another level again, you know. And I watched him watch him win a 
an origin game here at, at Suncorp single handedly. Yeah. Out of dummy half. And I was like, wow. I think it might have been um, uh, Cameron Munster's debut. Oh, debut. And he had a blinder, but Cam Smith just yeah. absolutely killed it. I moment. think that was the game where they were bagging him in game one, they might have lost, and they said yeah. he didn't run it enough. And he yeah. had a really quiet game. Yeah. And I think he just probably went, I'll fucking I'll show, show you. you. I'll yeah. show you. Yeah. And he just dominated. Because I remember watching that game with Choppy Close. We were at the game together. And we're going, who's this kid? Because that was Munster. Yeah. Mm. But then we're going, how good's Cam Smith? He's just running the show from in the in the middle. Yeah. <sighs> you know? Did Union ever come after you? Oh, at the end, at the end, I, I was going to throw out a few um, feelers. feelers. I was in England. So I retired out of Wigan. And on the way home... Um, I had an opportunity to go to Japan, France. Shit, that would have been good. Yeah, but we had Freddie, who was yeah. born in 2001. Bit hard. And what what made our mind up that I didn't chase the international rugby was, because um, I had a contract in still in Super League as well, um, September 11th happened. Oh, right. And, yeah, um, yeah, that'll stop it. It was like, uh, can we just want to go home. Yeah. yeah. To be honest. You know, yeah. we got, well, you've we been got, shitting yourself. Yeah, we had a little baby and five kids. And it was just like, nah, we want to go back to Australia. Shit, that's, yeah. That was scary, man. Yeah. That was scary. Absolutely. And we, we flew back the Monday after we played the grand, played the grand final on the Saturday night. We were out of there. Me, Maddie, Johns, um, and Lammy, straight on the flight Monday morning, out. Yeah. And, and it sort of canned um, my contracts elsewhere, um, which I didn't mind. I, I was yeah, happy to yeah. finish. Uh, but, yeah, so, and then there was, I was nearly, one. I had a, a friend who was doing, doing a bit of management for me and, and nearly put the feelers out to the Reds when I got back. Oh, the wow. But, that but, would have been... But I didn't want to go there. I didn't want to go there. With, you would have been with Dell then. Possibly. Because yeah, he was 0-2, o- I think he played Chris there. Latham. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I just... I canned that one. I said, nah. I've God, that would have been good. Where were you? would have been an outsider. How, old were, how old were you then too? Oh, well, I was 32. Yeah. So, yeah. Shit, yeah, you would have shown him a thing or two. <laughs> well, Del, you know, Del and um, Willie Khan. Willie, he went played to the, there a couple the of Reds. Yeah. But yeah, I, look, I, I just didn't want to, didn't want to do that. Um, you know, because I, I came back and played for East, and a couple yeah. of years later, after retired, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, East 04 Embrity. or something, yeah, 04, yeah, we yeah. lost, we lost that grand final to Burley, and yeah. the boys got up last night. Oh, so that, was that, that was their go first. the Tigers. They lost the five, Tigers. five grand finals in a row, yeah. and that was their first since ninety one. Yeah, exactly. How good is that? Yeah. yeah. They had a good yeah. team. They had like, um, who's that? Anthony Dawn and yeah, the other. Who's that other? Oh, what the Dawn from yeah. the Titans? Yes, yeah. who's yeah. Corey Thompson? Yeah, Corey Thompson. Yeah, yeah. those fellas. Yeah, Corey was good. Yeah, yeah they had, had a good, good game. Good little side. Yeah. Shit. So he's back playing at East now. I thought the Dawn fully that, hung up the boots. Yeah, I thought that too. You know, yeah. but yeah, yeah. But Corey, he's back because I've running him down the Gold Coast when I was doing a bit of commentary. Mm. And, um, he he works for the Gold Coast for the Titans. What's he do there? Some BD oh, work or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what he does, but he, I saw him there. How does your sideline commentating go, mate? Yeah, mate. I, yeah, it's not for me. It's one of those <laughs> things. Um, I got a got a couple of runs with with Fox and Steve Crawley, and um, you know, I just I sort of look at the weekends. And you go, oh, you know, it's still my weekend. <laughs> Would you, if they, like, would you do it again next year? Because it was only of a... Of course sh- I would. It was a short yeah. stint, eh? Yeah, you only gave me four games. What, were they it. down on troops or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they didn't want to fly anyone up from Sydney, so <laughs> I got all the Queensland guys. But that's good because it's just in your neck of the woods, too. Yeah, it's exactly. No, look, I, I, I enjoy doing the work for Fox and as a, you know, got to do a bit of that, I've done Matty Johns, yeah. you know, I've done 360, you know. I really enjoy working for Fox and Steve Crawley and the team there and, um, yeah, you know, because they have a lot of good – I reckon the players they have there are good blokes. Yeah, yeah they are, yeah. You know what I mean? They, so. Yeah. Who picks them? Like, who picks the, you know? Well, obviously, um, they got their producers and, and that yeah. there and, and obviously Steve Crawley has a fair bit to stay with. Yeah. You know, he, he runs the show there and – um, but yeah, but oh, I always oh, think that like who, who but, but but then Maddie Maddie come up with his concept with his characters over the years and his show. Yeah. Well, he sells that to him, so yeah. he goes, "Well, I got this. I got this idea." Yeah. So if you boys, also oh, he the it. one. Yeah. So so what happens? He ca- Maddie was talking. I can remember Maddie talking about what he's going to do post rugby league when I was working with him. And it was all around the stuff he's done, you know, like, you know, his characters. and Like Red Dragon. Red Dragon. Trent the Oh, yeah. yeah. The and, and so he, he had, 
he's mentioned a few things that he had ideas about, and he's got to take those ideas to someone yeah. like right because he was on doing it started on Channel Seven. No, yeah. he, he was on the Footy Show. Footy Show, yeah. and then he, and then after that they went to Seven, seven. and it was even Shane Webke. Yeah, I it was a webby. And yeah. there was that yeah. comedian bloke, Arn Arn Kando. Arn Kando. Arn Kando. Sounds like a form of combat. <laughs> <laughs> no, they put him up in a they put him up in a jet plane, and he was. Have you seen the video? He's chundering and everything, <laughs> doing somersaults oh, yeah. and all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's 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 my ultimate. ultimate. Oh, you want to do that? Jet, Are you a daredevil? I, I love no, but I love jets. Really? Oh, yeah, I won't go on a balloon. I went on a, I went on a hot air balloon. Oh, shot, you're crazy. I man. shot myself. <laughs> honestly, it's like when I was down. So I sort of judged. This is out at Amala Springs. I thought if it collapses here, <laughs> I, I can nearly survive this drop. And then he he's put that hot air in it and it's gone up. I was going, oh, no, no, too high, too high. I'll die if this falls. This oh, drops down but you want to go on a jet? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a lot safer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got they got um, ejector, ejector seats, seats <laughs> and parachutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh. We play a game, yeah. okay? Because we were talking about Matty Johns. We uh. play a game, right? So it's who would you rather belt bender or beer with? Oh, okay. Right, though. Belt now bender. I'll follow. I'll follow the trend of Alfie. Yeah. Should I? Yeah, yeah. If you can think of any other sources, you follow. I'll have a think. Like, okay. We'll kick off with the journos, right? Oh, so. Brent Reed, James Hooper, and Buzz Ross 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 Roth, Rothfield. Holy shit! Momentum. That was bad. <laughs> did you catch that, or did I fuck that up so badly? Brent forgot. Reed, James Hooper, James and Buzz Hooper. Rothfield. Do you know them? Yeah, I do. Yeah. So who would you belt? Who would you go on a bender oh, with? No. And who, who would, would you have a beer? Who would you have a beer with? Yeah, I'd, I'd belt Buzz. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, poor that'd, Buzz. that'd take just a oh, flick yeah. of the wrist. <laughs> I'd, have, I'd, have, <laughs> I'd have a beer with Brent. Yeah. Okay. Bender with James. Bender with, with hoops. hoops. Yeah. You reckon hoops. he'd be good on the bender? I, I like hoops. Yeah, he, got, okay. he got a DUI charge. So. Did yeah, he? I think so. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he, must, he must have a couple. <laughs> Righto. And then the second one we were just talking about, the Matty Johns boys. So Matty oh. Johns, Hindy oh. and Fletch. Yeah, this is going to be real tough. Yeah. This might determine if you get another gig or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> John's show. So, belt hind. <laughs> <laughs> I won't go, Matty. Yeah. Uh, beer with Fletch. Yeah. And you know Matty, so. Well, I've had a bender. Yeah, I've, had a few, I've had a few benders with Matty, so it's all good. Oh. oh, and then the last one, it's the OG footy show. So, Fatty, Sturlo and the Chief. Oh, gee. Yeah, this is good. Alf went after the Chief. Oh. He wanted to belt Chief. Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, it, funny enough, I watched a game that night yeah. and <laughs> Alfie, Chief's run straight at Alfie. You know how Alfie's done that, how he used to tackle with his leg? Yeah, yeah, he'd, come he'd on trip bro, him. Not the come on, that was a trip. He'd, yeah. he'd fucking trip him. And yeah. all, we, all the thing would, you'd just have to be holding onto him and you could trip him. Yeah, literally. Really? Yeah, yeah, and as long as you had two hands on yeah. him. Yeah. What? It, Alfie was famous for it. I'm not even kidding. I've Alfie said this. I'm like, fuck, that's weird. He's done it to Chief in a game. Chief's got up and just fucking pushed him over. <laughs> and I go, I reckon Alfie's, that's what sort of has been spawned from. <laughs> oh, that, it probably is, too. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, the Chief? You, you Who, no, Fatty no. Sturlo, Chief. Oh, um, what? Well, I blew with, I have a blue with Fatty. I have a blue. <laughs> that'd be a good blue. Yeah, and uh, a beer with the Chief. Yeah. And I'd love to have a bender with... Sterlo. <laughs> Sterlo. Peter yeah, Sterlo. Yeah, because I, I love Sterlo. I love Sterlo. <laughs> that, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny how they've offered him to do the... Pre- present the uh, Clive Churchill and he's... T- well, he hasn't turned it down. He said he's golfing. But he's golfing instead. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's how much it meant to him hey, that he's having a golf and, and weekend. I don't want to. They they got their uh, what's the food? The commercials. The commercials. Yeah, I love don't those. Don't they look like old men? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, reckon they, I reckon they're so good. They, I love Doordash. I, I love them to bits, but yeah. oh my god, they make them look like old men. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are aging badly. <laughs> oh. So what? Um, can we get some predictions? Yep. For this weekend. Yes. Right. Broncos Warriors. Can you give the shareholders what? What do you think? How many? Who goes over? Yeah, look, uh, look. Warriors were great last week. Mm. I must admit that they had the home crowd. Yeah, if you watch that match, 
it was amazing. What the the chant that was going on, they rode that wave. I think it's going to be very different here Saturday night at uh, the Cauldron. At the Cauldron, um, so they're coming over here. They could travel back, play here, Brizzy. Uh, look, what Brisbane did to Melbourne a couple of weeks ago, Br- Brisbane will win this game. They just got to do what they've been doing, yeah. and they'll take this game quite easily, I think. Yeah, I agree. Um, if if they stick to what what they've been doing, um, and our, our, look, I've got to say it. We, our forwards were great the other week. I thought they'd be there for 20 minutes, Belton Melbourne, but they did it the whole game. Yeah. And what that opened up, we got this lethal right side mm. with, with Reese Walsh, Katoni Staggs and Selwyn Cobbe. Amazing. So good. They're unstoppable. They get going behind that forward yeah. pack. They're hard to stop. So I, I think Brisbane will win this comfortably, to be honest. Well, our grand final that. was last weekend, it feels like. Yeah. You know well, what that, I mean? Well, that was a grand final um, atmosphere. Wasn't yeah, it? They, that's they, what they, I mean. You know, well, look at Sean Johnson. He, he stayed out, he's doing, you know, which is great. He was yeah. recognising the crowd. He knew it was the last home game. But, bro, you got... <laughs> bro, you, you got, got another couple. week, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you got another two if you take it, if you're serious. Yeah, are, we, exactly. yeah, are we saying Bronx 20 plus? Is that what oh, Can I, I get you on record I, here? No, I always go, I always go, I always think a maximum is 10. 10. I'm happy with 10. The Wars have a huge fan, fan base for three weeks. I reckon it'll be a bit closer than people think. Hey, I reckon, I, I reckon, I was, reckon yeah. yeah. I, I was on, well, that's why I said 10, not 20. But I was on the sideline down the Gold Coast for Fox, and um, <laughs> there's another plug. There's another f- for Fox. Um, Put in a word, yeah. yeah. OFD. Yeah. So when they played, when they played the Warriors, right? They had more Warriors supporters at the Gold Coast than they did Gold Coast yeah. supporters. They come out. Yeah. I was like, wow, that yeah. is fucked. They come out of the woodworks. The yeah. Wars supporters. Yeah. yeah, it's good to see, but it's good to see. Yeah, it is good to see. Yeah. And look, just you know, they they love their rugby league, and yeah. Um, you know, I remember when they first come in because we were playing. I was playing in '95. It's just shit that that's the last game they'll win this season. But mm. you know, yeah, <laughs> no, that's footy. And what about the other one? Obviously, Storm Panthers. Yeah, look, I, I, I love Melbourne. Uh, you know, I, I love what Craig Bellamy's done there. I just don't think they have the soldiers to take on. You know, the, yeah, the boys from the, the mound and they're fucked. To be honest. Um, you know, I, I just think that they're a bit more clinical. I think they're just missing a few players, Melbourne. Yeah, they are. Hey. You know, so so for me, I'm going to have to go for Penrith. Yeah. Because Jerome Hughes, is, will he still be out? Is that confirmed? Yeah, I'm not sure, actually. Um, what happened there? I don't know. Yeah. We'll, have to, we'll yeah. have to look into yeah. that. Yeah, but, you know, that, is he enough to make a difference? No, yeah. well, that's the thing. I mean, obviously, clear he's been taken to hospital, but... No, he's good. It's his it's finger all. or some shit. Yeah, even if even if he snapped his you, finger, he's still. You know who who I'd be picking if I was Bellyache is that Far Logo, Far Longo. Oh, that man, kid that you want to try? The kid that scored a try at the thing. Well, I just reckon you're right. They're missing something. Yeah, you know. Yeah, they are. They're missing a. I reckon a, a big forward. Yeah, you know. Well, Welch is. Well, who, who's the well, other four? Well, we Kamakamika, like I yeah, don't know. Kamikamika. They're just missing yeah. something. You're missing something. Like Nass. Yeah, but do do we have the strike player like a Pappenhausen was? Yeah, you know? no. yeah, they don't. And that was ugly. That poor bastard. Oh yeah, you know, and I feel so sorry for him. I, I, I was shattered with his first. Mm. Yeah. And then he comes out and does that. It's cruel, eh? Oh, it's cruel, yeah. you know? Geez, Brisbane's going to be heaving once the Lions get up at 4.30, I think they're playing. Yes. And then that's going to yeah. just tee off straight to the Bronx. The Olympic City, as we like to call it. Yeah. What a big weekend yeah. for Brisbane and yeah. a big weekend for the Caxon Hotel. Oh, oh shit. Where will you be here? Post oh. game or? <laughs> Still <laughs> like? He'll be at Fox. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be doing Fox legs. So. He'll be doing Fox legs. Oh, he's going to be absolutely up and about the pearl. I don't know if there'll be room in here for anyone. <laughs> I know. I know. That's the thing. I now, love you'll be up here after. Yeah, I love this yeah. pub, but God, she gets chockers. Oh. Yeah. But it's been great. You, yeah. you must be happy with it. Like, just, oh, it's just shit, been yeah. great. The, yeah. yeah, the women's soccer. Oh, yeah. the it's been dolphins. a good year. It's been a good year for just, just it's been a fun year. When, yeah, you know, exactly. when they're Like you said at the, at the start, when the Bronx are going well, yeah, the well, city's going well and the Caxton's going well. Without, and, without a doubt. You know, we just need those reds to fire up, baby. Yeah, the, the koalas. koalas. <laughs> come, on, come, on, come on, the koalas. Those wallabies were good too last night. Oh, Fuck yeah. me. Oh. Yeah. I, I just Can we wanna, talk about them for a oh, second? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's going on there? Uh. I, I, um, I was going to put it to the shareholders. I've got receipts. I've got the um, the tip. 
on my phone. I tipped it. I tipped Fiji. You've got Fiji. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I tipped yeah. Fiji at $3 something because I just saw it. I looked at – I saw that the Thor was out, um, Skelton was out, mm. and I just thought, they're fucked. Yeah. Like, the side that they – I'm going to go on it another week. Yep. Go what on. I, no, not now. Another go week on. I'll go on. I'll go off. I. It's just fucked. Yeah. Their side – the co- like I don't think Eddie's got it. I think he's been tainted. I think yeah. he he's coached South Africa. He's coached England. He's coached Japan. He's come back to Australia. Like does he does he care? He's got a does good he record it? when he does coach. Or well, what for Australia? Because he's Not lost for, fucking five. Well, for Australia, I think he took us to an O three we beat, final. We know that, yeah. Perky, yeah. but it's fucking twenty twenty three. But, he, but, but he, yeah. he's had a bad run, hadn't he? I, I honestly, just it's just fucking. You know, a joke. I, I love. I, you know, I like Union, and I'll yeah. always watch a Test match. Mm. I always watch the Wallabies. You know, watch my country play, and you know, I always go to a Test match. Here. Absolutely, I usually go to the France Test match mm. here. And the, but oh my god, they're disappointing. Oh. Yeah, I just uh, but just the how they play. It's just it's it, even though it's different to rugby league, and I accept that. Oh. It's frustrating, mate. It's they, frustrating. You, if you watch the game last night, they get they they're in. You know, on the fifty meter line, they work it up. They get they get out to the about twenty twenty two meter line or twenty five meter line, and they fucking kick it. <laughs> oh. they're, they're, they're twenty odd meters away from the line, and then then the halfbacks or someone will put Patea kicks it, Nick White kicks it, and it's just why? Do you see any other team do that like the All Blacks? Yeah, no. Why? It's a strike zone. You're inside your opposition fucking strike zone, and you kick yeah, the ball away. You've worked zone. it up from the fifty. Why kick it? Kick it at the fifty. Yeah. I'm can you tell well, I'm yes, passionate about it. Oh, Fuck like, me, well, dead. Well, they, but they just they just. They don't have. They obviously don't have the confidence in their attack. No, that's it's right. crazy though. Like, yeah, they're when, all. When you just throw a dice and have a go, yeah, well, yeah. They're, yeah. They're, they're, you're giving the ball away. Yeah, possession. Yeah, <laughs> they they could take a leaf from league. I know why Eddie's coming after all these well, leagues. Vunavalu scored a try. I don't think he. That was he a pick and draw yeah. too. I don't uh, like. Vuna he's Vala's still learning the game, the but he scored a fucking try. Corabidi's the only other one that really runs with a fucking Corabidi, that wants yeah. to have a go. Yeah, you know he's our best player, and they're both leagueies. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I no. want to go on it in a game next week. I don't want to go into it now. There, it's there's, just there's there's issues. So you, are you lucky or you're fortunate enough? I don't think you have. You didn't book World Cup tickets. No, nah. because we got <laughs> no, friends no. here that are going. You know, geez, they must be going. Oh yeah. Well, when yeah. are they leaving? <laughs> Ziggy's going. <laughs> Zig and Hagen going. He's yeah. Gone. A couple of weeks. <laughs> so they're not making it out of the group stage. No, I've said it. No, no. They're, they're going to lose to us. What game going to against Portugal? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> that, 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 that bridge. Might be the final. You might be thinking the Australia was going to be in the final. In the semis oh. or something. Yeah, get out of the... Yeah. Oh, oh well, you wouldn't be bringing a Wallabies jersey over if you were leaving in two weeks. Nah. You'd what? get like a France or... Yeah. You wouldn't get an All Blacks jersey. The I- island's looking good. I, See, I, I can get away with that. If I was going, I'd just throw a French... Yeah, Fran- renew uh, for Renew. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw the old Renouf Is that me. French, is it? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, right. <laughs> apparently. He's uh, still trying to learn his heritage. <laughs> I think it is. That's gold. I think Farquhar is French, actually. Or Scottish. Really? French or Scottish. I don't know. Yeah. We don't We don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we got a code of arms. It is Sco- yeah. it's Scottish, but we think it might be French. So yeah. Like, you know, you, just Google it. Farquhar. 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 Uh, anyway. Oh, well, that's good footy, mate. That might be us. Yeah. Pearl, that was a pleasure, mate. Uh, no yeah. worries, boys. Thank mate, you, that mate. was awesome. Awesome. Thanks, mate. Hey, good awesome. to see you. We'll, uh, we'll sign off with the trademark little jingle. All good. Trademark song. <laughs> Ripper show. Thank you. Thank you, shareholders. And thank Pearl's, you, Pearl. Pearl's got the Bronx no worries, by boys. 22, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> 20 plus. You heard it here first. Give us a try. Score it quickly, Pearl. Cobo. Cobo. Yes. Love that. Yeah. That was good. Well, mind you, I don't want his good. He, he beats my uh, season record if he goes over twice. Oh, oh does, does he? he? Does he? Let, he 